tonight's guest. He only hangs out with dummies. Comedian Jeff Dunham and Walter. So pleased we have, no, we don't just have five dummies today. We have six, right, Walter? <laughs> yeah, good to see you. Nobody introduces me, Greg. No one introduced me at all. No, no one said I was here. No one said it yet. I said you were here. Why well, said Jeff Dunham and Walter? Okay, you're the only one. I am the only one. <laughs> we're happy to be here. I'm happy you're here, because finally I'm taller than somebody. <laughs> You know, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to know where Tyrus is. Tyrus is, I think he's coming in uh, later this week. Oh, or is he taking Thanksgiving off? I don't know. Yeah, what, we're you like not coming in later this week. Yeah, we're here all week. <laughs> you like Tyrus? I wanted him here so I could kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I could take him. You know, if he was here, your head would already be off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and God knows what he'd be doing down your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Although I doubt it would fit. But anyway. <laughs> don't you love it? I'm going to talk to you now, Jeff. Okay, fine. Uh, yes. Don't you love to see that, how they call, they were filled with an avalanche of dread. It's about their psyche. They don't, they, they don't show any pain for the inflation or crime, but they're worried. They're worried about uh, Trump coming back. Yeah. yeah. No, I think it's going to be great. Aaron Lerica wants Kofifi. That's what we want. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you are like a, a, the average uh, Fox News fan, aren't you? <laughs> I, I am. I have an eight track. <laughs> <laughs> do you apply, uh, what party of the body do you reply? Uh, you reply the relief factor. What the hell did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, did, do you just, ever his, to, his hand. Do you ever reverse his mortgage? <laughs> See, it's a joke. <laughs> You're going to ask a question way through the joke, Greg. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. And I thought you were made of wood. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one. Uh, you should sit on Jeff's other knee. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm arguing with a dummy. <laughs> yeah, I feel what the happened? same way. <laughs> All right, Emily, are you surprised? So, uh, Walter, not a day goes by when people tell me that you, uh, that Biden reminds them of you. What would, would say you? We have gotten that since uh, since Obama. I yeah. Mean, people go, yeah. 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 I look just like him. So you know, our special that's coming up on Friday. Mm -hmm. I actually played Biden in the special. Right. Ah, but you're, you're not actually him. No, not actually him. But you know, uh, and it fits perfectly because someone else is always telling me what to say. <laughs> <laughs> And you could put me in office, and at least you'd know for sure I'm not the one running the show. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, where can they see the special? Uh, it's going to be on Comedy Central. Comedy Central, uh, which is part of the turnout, which is a great thing. Except we were on CBS this morning, and now we come here. And now it's, uh, I feel a little dirty both ways. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so we, we had fun with it. And by the way, watching those films, it's just no matter what side you're on, how could you how could you take that seriously? Yeah. And, you know, we all have friends on the other side of the country. Some of us do, some of us don't. And, yeah, you know, I was asking a guy the other day, how are we viewed right now? And it's what you hear. It's just like we're viewed as kind of a joke. And it's yeah. kind of sad. But it gives you material, so I love it. Yeah, there you go. It is like, <laughs> it's did like you, watching did the Did you know the Secret Service is actually trying to protect him from natural causes? <laughs> <You> know that? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Thanks a lot. That's good. That's good. You know, uh, Emily. Well, you know what? Yeah. In his in his defense, I will say that Biden has done one thing that no president ever has. What? He fell up a flight of stairs three <laughs> times. <laughs> three times in exactly. ten seconds. Exactly. <laughs> All right, we got to move on. Uh, Walter, uh, well, how do you take the news? Well, I think everyone's confused. It's not going to happen. You're not bringing them back. Is that he's going to be? They're going to mount him in the Hall of Presidents next to Lincoln. Yes. <laughs> he's going to be a robot guy. Yeah, yeah. I just want to know how do you screw up Disney in the first place? Who was this other guy? Was it what the Hulk? Goofy? What the hell was it? <laughs> I have no idea. You know, I'm going to say something that's going against the grain here. So yeah. I feel like a little bit about being a vegan in this show. So. Uh, I I love Disney. I'm yep. sorry, but I br I brought up my girls there. They love Disneyland. They're all grown women now. It was a family family thing. And I'm ignore the politics. Yeah. Uh, when I when I tweet or Instagram out a picture of Disney, I get so much hate. It's unbelievable. But I don't care mm -hmm. because what Walt made is still there. 
and we have fun. We get on the rides. The magic is there, and I understand all the politics. Yeah. But I, I I choose to ignore it because of the joy that it brings my kids. And I have I have grown girls now, but I also have twin little boys that are seven years old, and that is a magical time at any that, one of those parks. That's it. No, that's I, I I will agree with you. I can remember going to Disney a lot. You know what's interesting though? The best part about Disney is that it didn't change in some ways, but the worst part, it still looks the same. And right? It, it's kind of it's like you know what it is. It's like the play the Playboy Mansion for kids. And your child but may leave. Your child. How about may, that for an, huh? an your analogy? Your child may leave not they knowing should, yeah, their gender. They should change though. it from the, the most magical place on earth to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Playboy Mansion. Like, yeah, for yeah. It's like the Playboy Mansion for kids. It's like people go, oh yeah, you got to go to the Playboy Mansion. You go there, it's like stinky. Yeah. No one's fixed anything. <laughs> I get it. There's blood but on I'm the sorry, walls. But, but but the creativity and some of the great people that still work there. Yeah. I, you know, I look what I do for a living, for God's sakes. Mm -hmm. So uh, at I, least I, it's not Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know what happens when we're not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yeah, he tells me lie, lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I went there. I can't believe I went there. Yeah, it's lie. about time. Yeah. You can always talk to me, Walter. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> After the show. You're too short for me. Oh. <laughs> There's a little Disney magic right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna light a warm fire and use you as the uh, Kindle. Well, I do a woodpecker joke, but it's national TV. <laughs> All right, we gotta move on. I'm talking to uh, Walter, it's kind of fun. Coming up. So look, I'm originally from Texas, and Walter, I figured out how to pronounce the name of that, uh, that country. How, what is it? q -ator. <laughs> you and by the way, Budweiser's new slogan is, this bud's not for you. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, the drinking in excess of the amount of beer is the only way you can get through a soccer game. That's true. <laughs> I hate soccer. Yeah. Is he, uh, you there? Yeah, you're I'm there, there, I'm there. You're I'm not there. paying any attention to anything I'm saying, are you? Well, I just got used to you after a while. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> you know, yeah, that happens like, a lot. <laughs> I know, yeah, you're not the like, only one, Walter. Like I'm married. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so no beer at the World Cup. Does that also mean no hookers? Yeah. No, that's still safe. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad you know that, and I don't. Yes. <laughs> I check that before I fly everywhere. They have a whole map. <laughs> They have a whole map on the U.S. government of where there's no sex workers. A hooker map. Okay, yeah, a hooker good. map. I'll share it with you later. Thank you. Drinks, my place. Whatever. Yeah, we'll share. <laughs> All right, we got to move on, you pervert. I don't care. <laughs> pervert made of wood. <laughs> How great is that? You know you like it that way. <laughs> yes, you know yes. I do. I don't know what you're talking about, but <laughs> I'm going to think about it when I get home, Walter, with you. Oh. Yeah. You open up a... So five uh, people to lean on, is yes. that it? I don't have five people in my life, but I have five fingers in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus, you're also a puppet. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for pointing out the obvious, Greg. <laughs> I was hoping you were believing in the magic. <laughs> So, okay, no yeah, friends. That's it. Oh, that's I got it. you. I got you. That's all I got. We're now close. We're now I know. close. Well, there's a thing that's been going on between us. It's been absolutely amazing. I know. The, <laughs> you can taste it. You can taste the electricity. No, I can't taste any. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I had COVID. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, is that the guy in the van? <laughs> oh. I got a question, though. Yeah. I get accused of having all my friends being the people that work for me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how to get around that because the people that work for me are the people that I love being with. Yeah, you trust them too. That's a thing, you know, like my, I'm, I have the, I was going through my list and everybody on my list I work with That's or cool. work for. Not, or no, they work for me because I'll crush them. Mm -hmm. I'm like low maintenance in some ways, but emotionally I'm expensive. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something yep. real quick? Sure. So, uh, one of my best friend died during COVID. It was a tough thing. I was his, his best man. He was my best man. And at the at the funeral, a few people got up to talk, and three or four different guys said he was my best friend. I'm yep. sitting there going, "What the? I was that? <laughs> That's amazing. He hated you. Yeah. <laughs> he was saying he was his last words is, "I hate him and his <laughs> puppet." <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. <laughs> and thanks to Jeff Dunham and Walter. <laughs> Kaylee McEnany, Emily Campagno, that's it for studio audience.
Fox News at night with Dreamy Trace Gallagher is next. I'm Greg Gethold. I love you, America.